Judge Harbaugh has completed his placing in the Spring Heifer Calf class. Second place junior is entry 355, PNA J. Crosby Rihanna, exhibited by PNA Ayrshire's Tom, Sarah, Caleb, Cole, and Carter Cruz of Dyersville, Iowa. Placing third in the class is entry 336, G4 Sarge Matty, exhibited by Tim Mary and Katie Gillette of Whitewater, Wisconsin. Second in the class, entry 339, High Fashion Moto's Eye Candy, exhibited by Richard Kempkes and family of Walton, Nebraska. And the winning entry, and also first junior, Four Hills Burdette Alex, exhibited by Brittany Hill of Bristol, Vermont. Congratulations. Judge your comments. Thank you, Brenda. Well, good morning, everyone. It's certainly a pleasure and an honor for Chad and I to be with you this morning here to kick off your 2012 International Air Share Show and World Dairy Expo. It's a day we've been looking forward to for quite some time. But as we start our show today, I think we've got a pretty logical winner here in this first calf. When you see her out on parade, a calf that you'd maybe like to tighten up just a little bit her shoulder, but when you get her in line, it slides out. Just a beautiful long body calf. She has that advantage over the calf in second, length of barrel, depth of spring, sweep and openness to the rib structure today. You also give that set first calf the advantage today in having more width out through her hooks and pins, and she's deeper in her flank today. The next extremely angular calf we have coming along in second. Our second place heifer has that advantage today. When you get these calves in line, she's just a little longer in her neck. She's sharper at the point of withers. Shows us more spring to her four rib today than this very stylish gap we have coming along third. Third over fourth, this, she uses that advantage she has today in length of time, style, balance, hardness down her top to go over this dark calf we have coming along here in fourth. Fourth over fifth today, just more calf. You get them in line, this fourth calf has more width through the floor of her chest. She has more length of frame, just more over, overall openness to her rib structure than this beautifully balanced calf we have coming along here in fifth. Fifth calf, a mid-March calf. She's not the biggest calf in the class, but just so much balance and quality. She's long and feminine in her head and neck, angular and open in her rib structure. She's long and flat and wide out through her rump structure and it's that advantage she has in fullness up through her crop region that takes her over this April calf coming along next. Another calf that's extremely dairy, angular, and open with a lot of quality, but just not quite enough calf to move up in the class. Congratulations to our exhibitors.